This is what I started with, a lot of rot and corrosion. I was literally able to snap that top nut off by hand without even putting a wrench on it. Once I drove the bronze mounting pins out, I was able to remove the bowsprit and clean up the foredeck a bit. Now on to the next problem, getting the posts out of the boat. Things looked better down below, but as soon as I removed the fasteners, I could see there was a lot of hidden corrosion. The bolts had been seriously weakened. I tried to first drive the posts up out of the boat, but when that didn't work, I had to cut the shelf away below them to allow enough room to drive them in. Even that proved to be a difficult task. I first tried with a five pound sledgehammer, but that was not nearly enough weight to get the job done. It's true, sometimes you just need a bigger hammer. So in this case, I tried my 45 pound CQR anchor and was finally able to dislodge the posts. I'd made a pretty thorough mess of my forward cabin while I was getting the Samson posts out. It was the one place on the boat that I'd considered to be sort of a refuge from the general chaos from all the work that had been going on everywhere else. That was just an extra little incentive to get the job done as quickly as possible. This is gluing up the new Samson posts with West System G-Flex Epoxy. Might not look like a lot of uh, epoxy on the surfaces there, but I've already done one of these and just putting that little bit on still got a lot of squeeze out. It's a nice tight joint. That's everything spread into a nice thin layer. And here we can see that we've got squeeze out all the way around the joint. There's a lot of clamps, but they're not being used with a heavy pressure. After the glue cured, I squirt off all the edges and then plane the new Samson post down to the correct thickness. After a few finishing touches, it was time to take the new Samson posts out to the boat for a final fitting. Once again, I was in for more work than I'd bargained on. The holes weren't exactly square, and the anchor locker bulkhead wasn't exactly straight compared to the holes. I ended up filing away a good bit of fiberglass from the deck and a good bit of wood from the posts and bulkhead down below before I could get the new straight and square Samson post to slide in. Uh, setting up to drill the long holes through the Samson post, which are for fastening the mooring lines and the bowsprit up in the forward uh, part of the boat. Um, and you can see here I've got uh, got this, I've got it marked out, so that's, that's about where my center is going to be. Um, and I've got a, I've got this rig for my drill uh, to hopefully hold everything straight as I'm drilling in. Because um, it's a pretty long, it's a pretty long hole, and I want to uh, accurately hit here uh, about where the the old hole was. Um, and what I have done with the old holes was filled them with thickened epoxy. So even if I'm off a bit, uh, it'll be structurally pretty good. Once the holes were drilled and the bolts fitted. I took the Samson posts out one last time to prime them before finally fitting them for good.